Nick Admin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and host a Minecraft server in Ubuntu Server Edition. Now for this guide, I'm going to be assuming that you already have your Ubuntu server set up. I won't be showing you how to do this, and if you need help, there are plenty of guides online. Now that we have that out of the way, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and copy the link for the server jar. So to do that, we're going to go to the download section of Minecraft.net. We're going to right-click Minecraft server.jar and copy link address. Now we're going to head on over to the server and we're going to make a folder to host our files in. So we're going to do mk directory and I'm just going to call it Minecraft. And now we're going to cd to Minecraft. Now that we're in that folder, we're going to type the wget command, wget space, and then we're going to paste that link we copied and hit enter. And this will download the server jar for us. So now if we do an ls, we can see that file is down there. The next thing we need to do is write a script that will launch the jar for us. So we're going to type vi, vi, space, minecraft, dot, sh, and then hit enter. This will change your screen completely uh, to this right here, and it will say new file down at the bottom. So if you have that, you're in the right place. Next, we're going to hit the insert key on your keyboard, and you'll see it will change at the bottom to say insert. Now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and type the command, um, and it is java dash jar capital xmx 1024m space dash capital xms 1024m and then the path to the jar file so for me it's home nicholas minecraft minecraft server dot jar and then at the very end we're going to put no gui so now that we have that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and press the escape key once, and then we're going to hold shift and press colon. That's the two dots. You should Your cursor should jump to the bottom there. We're going to type the letters WQ and an exclamation mark. And then we're going to hit enter, and then it should go back to the other screen. And once you're here, just go ahead and type ls and confirm that our minecraft.sh file shows up. So now that we have that created, we need to, create it, we need to set it to executable. So we're going to type chmod plus x and then minecraft.sh enter now when we do ls it should have changed colors to green and that shows that it is executable now so at this point we're pretty much done all we have to do is type dot slash minecraft.sh and hit enter and the server will load and you can see here it's uh, generating the spawn area so while it's doing that I'm going to go ahead and open minecraft so I can show you that I can connect to it Again, what's up, player? I'm going to add server and I'm just going to call it Minecraft Server is fine. And you need to put in the IP address for your Minecraft server. Uh, if you don't know it, just do if config at the terminal. I'll show you that in a minute. Alright, so we're done. And we can see that, yes, there it is. I already had a copy of it up there but um, and I could join that right now but my laptop doesn't record Minecraft very well so we just won't do that but you can see it's showing up and it's it's there so we can get rid of that alright so it is showing up and working so at this point that's all you'd really have to do um, players on your internal network would just type in the IP address of your server and they'd be able to connect uh, as for players on the uh, external network or uh, players over the internet you're gonna wanna go ahead and set up port forwarding for Minecraft um, this is pretty simple but it requires uh, getting into your routers management interface and uh, it's different for every router so you'll have to google uh, your routers model number to figure that out uh, but after that you'll just give them your external IP address and if you don't know that you can just google what is my IP address and then from there they just have to type that IP address in followed by the port which is usually 25565 by default so now I'm going to show you how to find your server's IP address you just type if config oh, well, I gotta stop the server first alright if config and here we can see under eth0 is my IP address so you're going to look for the one that says inet address or inet addr and then the address following that is your server's IP address and it should be under eth0 and not 
loop back or LO. So that's pretty much all there is to setting up a Minecraft server in Ubuntu Server Edition. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you if I can. Um, and like I said, setting it up for players over the internet, you're going to have to port forward your router. So go ahead and uh, just Google your router's model number is the best way to do it. And there's usually guides. Um, and for Minecraft, the default port is 25565. That's the port you have to forward. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And until next time, guys.